<laughs> hey everyone out there in YouTube land, we're doing random PS1 games, and this is Burning Road. It's like a racing game, but maybe it's like Demolition Derby. Alright, immediately. Guess on price? Um, ten bucks. What's it called? <laughs> Burning Road. Burning Road! That. <laughs> I'll say... Say eight dollars. This is uh, nineteen ninety six. This is an early PS one. Yeah, it's like it's like twelve fifteen bucks. Hmm. Although nowadays PS one games getting a complete copy of anything that's not Madden is like you're looking like close to ten bucks for anything. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, this is analog joystick compatible, so you can play with a joystick. It's definitely two players. Oh, this is me. I'm not you. Okay, this music. Kinda dope, kinda dope. Oh. Automatic or manual? Cool choice. Cool choice. I don't think automatic is the cool choice. Uh oh. This is made by Playmates Interactive Entertainment, or the, Pi. The menu had like four options it was practice, championship, options, and something else. Push start, maybe? How do I go? Okay. I also am not particularly worried if uh, I don't play this game. Okay, it runs pretty good. There we go. I was like, I hate this camera. Angle. It looks oh, that's better. So much better. It looks better than like Day Daytona USA, which came out around the same time. No, let me say this. Let me let me say this. Daytona USA on Saturn looked better, but this plays better. Yeah. Yeah. Daytona USA. It like looks pretty good, all things considered. Yeah. But yeah, this actually runs pretty good. Now, I will have... I have a problem with the uh, front art. It makes this game look like it's like a demolition derby because all the all the cars on it have, like, varying states of, like, being crashed. And it doesn't even seem like you really crash into cars. Yeah. This game has uh, pretty interesting physics. Uh, it almost reminds me of... We, we were just playing Flintstones uh, Bowling, <laughs> which was very, like, slippery and floaty, and this game is... Kind of very similar in that way. Definitely an arcade-based one. I would not be surprised if this came out in arcade, because it's obviously very arcadey, especially with the time uh, timer at the top. Wow. Yeah, it's hard to turn at all. Like I'm barely like touching the D-pad. Like I'm just like nudging it. Well, clearly you're faster than anyone else when you're going straight. It's just a matter of like turning. Dude, what if you? What Although if, I think I think I picked the car that had really bad handling. Uh, maybe. Okay. What if when you hit the corners, you like very very lightly tap the brake? Yeah, whatever that button is. It's probably square. Square is actually accelerate for some reason. Oh. Okay, I think it's X is brake. Oh my God, listen to this music. Okay, so it's braking better. does seem like it's. Uh, There's some uh, hardcore rubber banding going on. I will say, like, I'm pretty impressed for a 1996 game of how well this runs. And I could definitely see this being pretty, uh... Like, pretty impressive back then, you know? Yeah, for 96. I would say that the biggest problem is that the textures are just, like, really, like low quality yeah. and it looks scratchy the graphics look scratchy that's a very good word for it i mean clearly they made the decision to have it run better rather than look better which yeah but even even the draw distance i mean you can see yeah. it drawing in but for the ps1 this is not bad at all but yeah the, the rubber banding in this is hardcore like the first player or uh first place is always just like you get close and it's like, oh, I'm right there. And then you get close to them and it's like, oh, I'm going to speed up now. So not only does this game not have, like, Demolition Derby type stuff, but you can, like, ram right into a wall and it doesn't not, not do, like, it doesn't even slow you down. Yeah, you came in sixth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, such a, that's such an awesome way to mm -hmm. say it. Well, you came in sixth. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll give one watch, more watch the whole replay. I'll choose uh, the big truck that had good handling. I, was, I like also how many times do you see a game where like when it's loading or like on the main screen it's like hey like what if you like what if every time uh symphony of the night loaded it was like konami just in the middle of the screen uh, 
do have to restart. Well, I guess we'll wait till this. Can you press start? Gonna... There you go. Alright. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not a game that I would, like, want to play. <laughs> But, like, I'm very impressed by it. Yeah, it's... A lot of... The racing game genre is, like, so disposable. Because, like, there's games that come out and it's like, oh, this was amazing for the time. And then, like, a direct sequel or some other game in another franchise will come out and be like, Tommy oh. Tallarico! The, the music's done by Tommy Tallarico from, uh... Remember, uh... Oh, what's that show on, uh, on G4? Judgment Day? Oh, really? With Tommy and Victor? Yo, that's pretty cool! A Link mode, maybe? Okay, I think that's... Link mode probably is, like, Ethernet. That's probably what it's talking about for, uh... Like, System Link, you know? I guess, yeah. I mean, that's the that's the only thing that's... Yeah, and then there's practice. Right. Like I said, I don't care too much. Try road handling, big truck boy. Cool choice. Oh, I just want to hear what happens if you come in first. You came in first! I'll, I'll try. Especially with this better car, hopefully. I mean, it, the only reason you didn't win last time was every turn was, like, the biggest skit in the world. Rush! Is There's not one inside the co uh, I almost said cockpit. There's, there's not a, uh... Ooh. Look at that, the eight ball, you see that? Eh, look at that. Oh, that is a nice touch. This, I'm like... There was, a, there was a Sega racing game that had a uh, ornament of Sonic before Sonic the Hedgehog 1 came out. Wow. I don't remember which game it is, but uh, that was his actual first appearance in a game. Interesting. If that game was a comic, it'd be worth a billion dollars. <laughs> oh, it does! It literally has a first person. It's pretty cool. I'm, like, very impressed with this game. Alright, so I can actually turn, but I'm also very slow. So I guess the uh, optimal would be just the... Uh, the vanilla car. The Mario of the cars. <laughs> it's just what they want you to do. What was that? Good luck getting first place. This game rubber bands so hard. Yeah, I saw that. Like, they, like, just suddenly start going faster. And it's like, well, were you just in, like, third gear the whole time? You're like, no, 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 I can go way faster. It's like, I'm going at max speed, 162, and I just cannot catch up to this guy. So this music's made by Tommy Tallarico. It's made by some company I've never heard of. Clearly, <clears throat> clearly an arcade game, or at least one that desperately wanted to be an arcade game. A link mode that I can't figure out, unless my start button's broken on my controller, but I don't uh, think it is. It, it seems really weird. It seems like it's, like, system link. Okay, turning's still weird, but... A narrator that, weird. like, gives you crap. Hmm, you came in seven. Rubber banding that even lets the, the truck that's the same exact thing as you be way faster for some reason. Like, it does have no rules. It has no rules. Dude, I'm doing as good as possible, and I'm still in third. I just will never pass this guy, ever. Or will you? Now all of a sudden this truck's like, yeah, I'm the best. There we go. Oh my god, could you be in first for one half of a second? Nope. Look at that. Banding. Dude, look at that rubber band. Did you see that? You can see on the mini-map it was going so fast for a little bit. This sucks. I'm taking turns perfectly, too. <laughs> Dude, not only that, you're in second place and you only had seven seconds left. Alright, here's the comeback. Yes! I don't know if that's the first time you were, but that's pretty dope. I think I was uh, in first place. Yeah! No! You were in first! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You did it. What a game. Look at those, look at those, uh, look at those, uh, polygon, uh, tires, by the way. Oh, you could watch the whole, 
race again. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you just watch? It reminds me of uh, Virtual Racing on Saturn, <laughs> where you can just watch the whole race again. I gotta bring that game, because I actually have a loose copy of that. Oh, but, the Genesis one? Yeah. Yeah, because there's also a Saturn... Yeah, there's a Saturn one as well. Alright, well, this is a cool one. If you got 15 bucks that you don't want to have anymore, and you'd rather have a PS1 game, I can think of a lot of worse ways you could spend it. If you want to spend a lot of money, you should get, uh, there's like a Toon Racer game. I forget what it's called. I think it's like Toon something. But, uh, that game is pretty rare. Like 50, 80 bucks, something. Water. Okay, I guess we're done. Water graphics! Amazing water graphics! Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy Tommy Keller Good Studios. Woo! Have a good day! Y'all yeah, going.